Hey boys, Sharon here from TheGimmyAct.com. Here we are today back in Broken Age grabbing the Gary Has His Reasons Achievement. This is to find 20 Gary interactions during Act 1 of Shay's story. So the first thing you want to do is when you talk to your mom, you want to make sure you pick the Investigate That Form body as your first mission. The reason for this is this is how you get Gary, so you want to make sure that's your first job so you have Gary right away. Then you want to head to the Friendship Circle, and as soon as you're here, what you want to do is you want to open up that box, which should have Gary, that we got from the last job. Alright, to hear a Gary interaction, all you do is just open up your inventory by hitting the Y button, pick Gary, and then select an object. The first object is going to be yourself, and then once you have that done, just pick up Gary and then move him around and you can interact with stuff with him. So next one is going to be these bean bags right here, and then you have these false buttons in the back of the room, pretty much this little light right here. And then finally, the character in the middle, like this crotchet thing. I'm pretty sure it has a name, but just interact with Gary and you should have everything done there. Then once you start the next job, you want to make sure you help those avalanche victims. This will take you to the next room with more stuff to interact with. So pick Gary and make sure you interact with the door right here in the background. You want to interact with the giant banana split in the middle. And then finally you want to interact with the avalanche victims off to the right. Nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to their plight. So once you start the next day, what you want to do is you want to make sure you pick the runaway train as your next job. Once you're up here, you want to interact with Gary using the giant mountain thing in the back right here. So do that and you should get another one. Once you figure out how to break the day cycle, you're going to end up back in your room. Make sure you use Gary on your bed as well as the AI orb thing above your bed, which is pretty much your dad in this situation. So do that, and then we're going to walk all the way to the right. We're supposed to open up this vent, but before you do that, make sure you use Gary, and then interact with this thing. Alright, you're going to get an inflatable doll out of the vent. Make sure you interact with it using Gary once again. Then you're supposed to use the air compressor on the doll to blow it up, and then after it's blown up, you want to interact with it using Gary before you put this thing on your bed to use as a decoy so you could sneak away from your parents. So just do that and then you should be at 13 right now. Moving on, we are going to meet the ship's navigation guy. Make sure you head into the basement and then interact with this tapestry right here using Gary and that should put us at 14. Then we are going to do some stuff and then we're going to head back onto the ship. This is when you take the teleporter to the trophy room. Once you're here, just use Gary to interact with any of the shelves on the back right here, and that should put us at 15. Nah. Crawl through the vent, and that should take you to the next area. Once you're in here, you want to make sure you interact using Gary on this screen in the back right here. That should be number 16. We're going to head back into the kitchen now. You want to grab the knife. We need this to progress through the story. Once you have the knife, just pick up Gary and then interact with it. And the cool thing is the knife talks back to you, which is interesting. So do that, and then we are going to head back to the ice cream room from earlier, but this time it's going to be a different scenery. So you need to grab this whipped cream gun off of the right. So once you have that, open up your inventory and then use Gary on the whipped cream gun. You also have the ice cream truck you can interact with up here. Alright, we should be at number 19. Then we are going to leave and then head back to that crotchet things room. You're supposed to pull out a crotchet needle from him and then once you have that just interact with it using Gary by now. And that should be 20. You should get the achievement right there but for some reason mine popped at 21 so this is a bonus one. This one is going to be on your way to the airlock. You want to interact with this blue trash can between the teleporter and that door right here. This is where I got the achievement. It's going to be for 25 gamer score. If you miss it here there are another two opportunities to get it. The last one is going to be right here in front of the manual control box. You just want to interact with it. That's when Gary leaves you. I believe you can also get the spoon in your inventory with it, but that's going to be all 23 locations that I know of, and that's all there is to it.